very, very clever atheist called Making Explicit. And apparently he's brilliant. And I've been told not to debate him. Because he's brilliant. Let's have a look. Let's go to... To his site. Let's have a look. Arguing for God's cruelty, the C proposition. Hey folks, this is deep stuff. Premise one, it is God's design that makes individual people more or less susceptible to believe in him. More or less inclined to do good and avoid bad. Premise two, ultimate responsibility for the consequence of design rests with the designer god created human beings only to have them suffer terribly for all eternity for a defect that he himself is ultimately responsible for such a god is a cruel by definition is cruel by definition there's proof of his sight on YouTube, making explicit. So there we have it. There we have it. The genius, making explicit. He is the Plato of YouTube. And you are the Dodo. Hmm? We dare not question these superior clever intellects these superior clever atheist out there no no not us we are but mere mortal men these are the gods of reason the great geniuses of our time let's have a look at the proposition again premise one it is God's design that makes individual people more or less susceptible to belief in him. More or less inclined to do good and avoid bad. Hmm. It's interesting to note that not one, not one philosopher all theologian would ever or has ever said anything like that so this guy has invented a premise to make it look as if it's a Christian premise it also falls down because it doesn't understand freedom of the will yes God created individuals but he did not make them more or less susceptible to belief in him or less inclined to do good and avoid bad each individual person has their own choice premise number two ultimate responsibility for the consequence of design rests with the designer so a mother and father have a child the child grows up to be 18 years of age the child who is now 18 goes off and commits murder are the parents responsible for the 18 year old son who's killed someone or is the 18 year old 18 year old person responsible for their own actions so it doesn't follow the premise just doesn't follow so we mere mortals dare not speak we dare not lift our voice we dare not come out on YouTube for fear of these great minds like making explicit and and we can throw in Thunderfoot and we can throw in some of these great YouTube 
atheist intellectuals we must just hide away and say no no these are the great ones well no actually actually we ordinary people are the ones who have a voice and we can say what we want to say and we are valuable in what we say and if you don't like it make it explicit if you don't like it Thunderfoot if you don't like it Neil Plum 99 if you don't like it Wise Apple if you don't like it Thunderfoot if you don't like it um, a Ron Ra if you don't rock like it Reason Rally if you don't like it then tough alright tough we're here we're gonna speak we have a voice and if you don't like it then tough alright every human being has the right to a voice and to be respected for their opinions and views and if you can't respect other people and their opinions then shame on you atheist shame on you don't shame ordinary people don't you dare shame ordinary people don't you dare as atheist share shame ordinary people who want to have a voice don't you dare dare shame anybody who desires to speak everybody has a right to speak and have their opinion everybody everybody everybody